What makes you think you're ready for commitment? Because the Bible told me so. Hell no. I was so mad about that. Uh, you tripped. But did you never, ever, ever take your question about your wife and God? I only really had three abortions. No, no. Talking Fresh Podcast. Nah, I ain't doing all that. What uh this podcast is supposed to be about? Uh I don't know. You just pulled out the our pulled out the studio and hit record. <laughs> Pull out the stick. Hold on, before we get into anything, shouts out to OJ the Juice Man on uh Ham, Ham on oh. Everything podcast. OJ the Juice Man got diagnosed with diabetes and shot eight times and, and did a, a rap show. In the same in week. the same week. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'll be drinking a Colt forty five. Talking about talking to uh, two white boys. What 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 word would you use for that? Persistent? Resilient? Or uh crazy as fuck. Um, yeah, so what what we said we was talking about with this one? We can talk about Tupac movie. Oh. Do a nice Tupac movie. review. Also shots out to you earlier with the uh you can't bake a cake without knowing the ingredients. The analogy. Um, people are trying to bake a cake without all the ingredients. I.e. Speaking about relationships. Yeah, I like how you did that. We're going to have to do a show on that one day. But, uh, yeah, real briefly, Tupac movie. First off, let's say nothing is worse than slight. <laughs> <laughs> slight movie. <laughs> Oh God! Was the worst. What what movie is worse than Slight? Bruh, that movie sucked ass. Did I, we pay for that? I put that in my memory. No, hell no, oh, hell okay. no. Good, cause I would probably pull a knife out and probably cut. We my were ass. about to leave, but we was like, "Fuck it, we already here. Might as well finish watching this." If y'all shit. don't know uh, the movie, good. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's called Slight. And yeah, like I'm Jordan giving them, Peele. giving them free. Jordan Peele did it. Yes, he did. Oh well. Uh, That's why I was really excited. I was like, okay. You know, no, he. I don't think he directed it. He. Uh, but that was his movie. It wasn't him. It was uh the producers from Get Out did Instead it. Instead of being uh, speculative, oh, you it's this it thing up? called Google. Yeah, pull it up on your phone. But anyways, all right, so. Disclaimer, nothing is probably worse than Slight. That was probably the stupidest movie. Uh, Shots out to the little black guy who uh, was the leading role, though. He did get a paycheck. Uh, I hope he got paid as much as he could for doing that stupid-ass movie. Jacob Lattimore, shout out. Yeah, but... um, All right, so we're getting into this Tupac movie. I did not know it was a lot going on around doing that movie with... Uh, his uh, what it was, his mom uh didn't sign off on some of the stuff, but they tricked her allegedly. Uh, well, what was his name from the Outlaws that was on Vlad TV? Oh, I don't know his fucking name. Damn, the bearded nigga. If y'all know what I'm talking about, uh, maybe it's a couple bearded niggas, but he read he on Vlad TV. He was talking about how they kind of like. Uh, they tricked uh Feeny Shakur into signing over like rights. She thought she was signing a agreement on some things to meet with the people. Yeah, to meet with the people. I don't know how true it is, but he was very close to her. But for what is worth, she can't defend herself because she's dead. Uh, unfortunately, she died before the movie uh started getting shot or while it was getting shot. Do you remember? Um, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I forgot. I guess you just have to do the uh, do the math on when she died or whatever. Yeah. But that was a crazy story right there. Just getting because I remember like a year ago they was talking about they was in the talks of trying to get the two part movie, and I was like, man, that shit gonna be hard as fuck to do, and it's gonna take forever. So, and then a year later, I see a trailer. I'm like. What the hell? So just for a reference point, she died May second, twenty sixteen. So probably oh, well, while while they were shooting. So um yeah, so then a year later I see them uh do a trailer 
but they said they didn't have a release date yet. It was just like a teaser trailer. So I'm like, okay, it looked good. The dude show looked like him. Then I looked um, into his story or whatever. Then they went through some discrepancies with, was it uh, H.T. Hutton? Is that the dude that did it, right? That's how you say his name? H.T. Hutton? Uh, Hutton? Well, I don't know his name. Got into it with, uh, was it F. Gary Gray? No, not F. Gary Gray. Benny Boone? No, not Benny Boone, man. The other, uh, John Singleton was supposed to do it, but they was having uh, some uh, differences or whatever. So he wound up getting off the movie or they kicked him off the movie and brought in Benny Boone as like a last minute director or whatever. Now, everybody know Benny Boone from shooting dope videos. He's been doing it. For a long time since the early 2000s but nobody known for being a movie director right you know what i'm saying or even a short film director so that was already a red flag i'm like oh, okay all right cool i guess i mean i ain't i ain't boxing him in because it ain't like you don't know enough to shoot a movie but it's just like all right that's like uh calling in a commercial uh, vi- uh, director trying to do uh, I don't know maybe a short film whatever so for what is worth Benny Boom uh, would not be the guy I would think to direct Tupac movie basically right. is what I'm saying he had two little independent films he said uh, uh, he next did Next Day Air and SWAT 2 not, not, Next Day not Air most... was what? was uh, was like a high guy comedy yeah, Next Day Air was in theaters, but it wasn't it was like nothing like that. And it wasn't. And then SWAT, that was SWAT 2, supposed SWAT to be two. SWAT 2. It wasn't, the, it wasn't a SWAT. Oh, okay. Well, so, they, they just broke even with the budget in the box office. And they budget was $40 million, right? $40 million, box office is 41.7. Which they made $1 million profit <laughs> so far. But anyways, all right. So now I get a uh, release date. And I'm like, oh, shit. They done pulled this shit off. I got to go see Tupac. I'm going to be the first one in the motherfucking theaters because everybody who know me kind of know I'm a Tupac follower or whatever Mm -hmm. to this day. So I'm like, damn. I'm like, but how the fuck can they even shoot this movie? Like, what direction are you going to go in? Because like everybody agreed Park had fucking 10 different personalities. Uh, he had 10 different damn stories. He was a yeah. activist. He was a, a quote unquote air quotes, a thug. Then he was a, a rapper. Then he was a, a actor. It's like, how the fuck? So I already was like, okay, what the hell they gonna do with that? But good luck. So I'm like, cool. They got the 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 look down pat, but it looked just like them. And I'm like, okay, I'm pretty sure they're gonna probably use some of the NWA actors like the Shug, um, maybe the Snoop. Uh, of course, they probably gonna use the same Biggie. Cause I think he's like, yeah. for some reason, licensed to really play Biggie uh, in every movie or something like that. I think it was something going on with. Uh, his mom owned the estate before Biggie Mama died. You say Biggie Mama died, right? I thought she did. I never heard of Biggie Mama died, but all right, I could be wrong. So I'm like, all right, cool. So they already got the platform, you know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, when it came to the actors, so long story short, after I just rambled on for about 10 minutes, I get in the movie theater. Well, we get in the movie theater. Mm-hmm. And we like, okay. Ten minutes pass. What you was like in the first 10, 10 15 minutes? Of the movie? Yeah. Um It started off, um, well, it started off fast. That's what I'm saying. They kind of skimmed over a lot of his childhood. They didn't really go into too much detail. They didn't really go into too much detail in any other movie. I think the beginning was more so for his mama. Yeah. To give like his, of, a little bit of his mama story, of him and his some mama of that story. Was like uh, was criticized and how he was talking to her. And 
well, you're not going to be completely satisfied. But for uh, what I was um, thinking. She was a great actress. Oh, no. Nah, his mama did great. Yeah. Was Who is that? That ain't the one from um, Fences, is it? That ain't the same lady. Uh, it's not like her. No, nah, it ain't her. Valetta Davis? No. She couldn't nah, it ain't her. No, you know who that is? Man, that's the girl from Walking Dead. Who had the dreads in her head, ain't it? Yeah, real um. Oh, my bad. I did. Look at my levels. My voice levels. Yeah. This is huh? Um, I don't know I'll, I'll if that was her. But anyways, the first 15 minutes, I'm like, God damn, this shit skipping like a motherfucker. But okay, cool. I'm giving it a chance. Oh, yeah, that is her. The Walking Dead. Yeah. I know. She just had the little fake dreads in there. Yeah. That bitch can act, boy. But she, she act good in Walking Dead when I used to watch it before it was mm-hmm. a fucking a tragedy. Like, how many fucking zombies still alive and how long y'all gonna keep walking and fucking going through the same shit? Whatever. <clears throat> so, I'm like, okay, she's selling me. She can act good. Tupac, the little young Tupac, like, whatever, cool. But then they just jump and then he just ended up in Cali or whatever. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever, whatever. Then they started going into all those weird ass little uh, music videos. Started, and then I, maybe it was because the theater we was in was the fucking sound was low, but it was mm-hmm. like I felt like I was watching a, a unedited movie or like a. Almost like a documentary. I don't know what type. the fuck it was. It just didn't make me Almost feel engaged. Almost like a documentary, engaged. like just like we'll hit on a couple scenes here and hit a couple scenes. No, here. I'm talking about when they actually was doing like some of his videos. Like I was kind of, or like when they did the acting scene from uh, Juice, Juice, I think. <laughs> like I don't know. I just felt not engaged. So then now we see fucking D Ray, D Ray Davis. Uh, was the one who gave Pac some money back in the day. <laughs> gave him some like, life advice. <laughs> what the fuck? D-Ray was in a... black leather... D-Ray, outfit. him and D-Ray was probably about the same age because D-Ray That's like 45, saying. Like, 46. He was the same age. Like, how you giving him like money and life advice? And he's like supposed to be big big homie. He he basically was like a... was like a... was like a big homie role. And then he jumped on the... I don't know if it was a crackhead or somebody who owed him money. <laughs> I don't know. That was just not D. Ray Davis beating people up, and D. Ray is a good actor or whatever. But it's, it's just, just like not the role for him to try to be serious. It's hard to cast modern day people that's known to do a biopic, a biopic, whatever they calling it, because we so engaged in this person. We are no D. Ray for comedy, being goofy. So it's like I laughed when I seen his ad, even when he acting serious, and that's. My small mind, maybe. But then again, it's the reality. It's like, it's hard to not laugh at a comedian. It's like, unless you, like, was an actor, actor, like Martin or some shit. Like, he can do both. Mm-hmm. Or, uh, I don't know who else can do both. Jamie Foxx. You know what I'm saying? You don't laugh at all Jamie Foxx shit. Because he can kind of act. But whatever. So then I was a little uneasy with that. I was like, really? Do you all right, cool. Then fast forward to uh, Jada. Jada looked it like Jada. She act pretty good. But Kate then, Shout out. fucking Shug. They use a whole other Shug from NWA, and I don't know why that's bothering me, but it's bothering me because I'm like, damn, y'all already had a good Shug, even though Buddy did good too. But I'm like, damn, y'all already had a Shug. Yeah. All right, cool. Whatever. He still did good. Then you had... Well, in order to understand that statement you just said, you have to explain that it's supposed to be a trilogy. So the first part is Straight out of Compton. The second part is All Eyes on Me. And the third part is going to be a death row. The death row movie. But, all right, whatever. Cool. Now, the Snoop Dogg is changed. So now I'm like, what the hell going on? And Snoop Dogg, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, Snoop Dogg is actually using Snoop Dogg fucking voice. Uh, we already spoiler alerted like about 15 Whatever. minutes ago. <laughs> Snoop Dogg is using his own voice in the movie. When he didn't do that in NWA or... 
Or any other movie he's yeah. portrayed in. So, okay, cool. And they use a whole new Snoop. I'm like, all right. So now they just like really turning me off now. But they'll come back with good scenes and good acting. Uh, Demetrius Ship did good. So I still was engaged. I'm like, where they going with it? Cool. Uh, then it was for some funny scenes and shit. Then uh, fucking the Dr. Dre is different from NWA. I'm like, yeah. God damn, y'all just going to just keep going down the line, huh? Like, y'all had a $40 million budget and couldn't afford the same people? You know what I'm saying? Even though the uh, Dr. Dre from NWA is on a TV show now, but he could have shot that little ass scene. That scene was about 20 seconds of him. He could have been in that shit. Mm-hmm. So now, what else I said? Um, oh my God. Then fucking Mano is goddamn robbing Tupac. <laughs> that that just, that cut it for me. Only thing kept me engaged after that point was that I was drinking some Long Islands and, well, actually I was drinking my Long Island sipping out of yours. But uh, the only thing kept me going was like the overall story. And, you know, stuff outside of that. But come on, man, no robbing fucking Tupac. <laughs> and, like, not 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 with a, a mask or anything on. Mm-hmm. Like, really robbing Tupac barefaced. <laughs> like, nigga. And, like, it would have been, it might have would have, they might have could have thrown it off a little bit if they, if, if Mano had a name. But he was nameless. So when you see him, you literally see him as Mano. Because he has no other name in the movie. Man, he's robbing. And then he's from New York, right? And didn't Pop get robbed in New York? Yeah. Like, it was just too, like, It was all kind of shit going on. Uh, Angie Martinez actor did pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't really catch Diddy like that. Me either. I didn't catch Queen Latifah either. Me either. <laughs> um, what else? So, I would probably get a movie like a seven. Maybe mm-hmm. if they fix, if they didn't, if they fix that casting, like hypothetically casting speaking, it should have been nah, directed even, by even a if, real movie director. Besides that, even if you, if I didn't know those people, it would have helped. Now, of course, I would have loved to see uh, F. Gary Gray, uh, maybe Suge, Suge Knight, one of his people, or somebody like direct, you know what I'm saying? Like Suge, really direct Suge, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um. So I don't know, and I don't even know who H T Hutton is. I I gotta look him up. L T Hutton. L T. Well, I said H T earlier, I think, and I actually wasn't right. You didn't say uh, nothing. Well, I just looked. At, I said I didn't know then, but I just. But L T Hutton, I don't, I don't know his work. I've never seen him until the damn Breakfast Club interview. But uh, more power to him for. Uh, successfully putting out a project and getting Hollywood uh, to fund his project. So, I mean, mm-hmm. more power to you, black man. But, hey, you put a movie out there, nigga, it's, we all gonna say if we liked it or not. Overall, it wasn't what, uh, no, I ain't gonna say what I expected because I ain't expect shit, but overall, it could have been a little better. Been if it was an eight, cleaner. I would have been like, it was good. But it was like a cool seven. Maybe mm, six. I'll say seven. Because it was still shot great. Like, I would watch like it the, again. Like I, the, just... I like how they put like the set together. I like the product. Um, Like the, what do you call it? I forgot what they call that shit. Production. Uh, like the stage production and shit. I like how they put it together. But another thing, Pop performed Hail Mary when Hail Mary came out when he died. Like after he died. Yeah, like I don't, I don't get that. And then <laughs> they were really rocking and shit on Instagram. Uh, yeah. So the two Pop movie, I would give it a seven. It. I said seven and a half, seven. So it's somewhere up in there. But I ain't giving it no more. Maybe if I watch it again and like at the house instead of a big ass theater, I might, it might grow on me later on. 
But right now, I give it a seven. And we want to say try again. But now I heard but they that they can't do it for another like twenty years. I heard that they trying again. So whatever. Anything else you want to say about Tupac? Um, I will watch it again, but when I do, I will more be uh looking for things that I missed. The iPhone. Yeah. That's, that was a, somebody <laughs> playing. They ain't have no damn iPhone. Or for characters that I didn't see, like Diddy and Queen Latifah. I don't fucking remember them. But yeah, yeah so, the, the movie, like, my main gripe with it was it didn't focus on him as an icon. Like, it focused on his, like, trials and tribulations, like, a lot of his court shit and getting in trouble I mean, and that was partying. Pop. That was it pop. was, but that wasn't why he was an icon. This man was a revolutionary. Yeah, they could have they made him more. They could have made him Black more. Black Panther. Like, my bad. Go ahead. And then they only did, like, a little, like, snippet on him. Uh, having what like a four thousand page uh report from the FBI, like they could have dove more into that. You know, it was just Man, uh, they didn't shit. really touch on him as an icon they and why would, he was so important to this. They probably wouldn't have gave up that damn budget for that and made it too goddamn iconic. But forty million dollars, that movie wasn't worth no more than ten. Mm-hmm. Straight out of Compton was twenty seven million to make. And made three hundred goddamn million, over three hundred million. Sorry, Tupac, you might, you may hit eighty million. <laughs> you may hit eighty when you do worldwide and uh, DVD and uh, some streaming and shit. Uh, good luck. But overall, it wasn't bad. It wasn't the worst. It just wasn't. It wasn't what we would like to see. With the later on Tupac being an activist and all that. But they did touch on some stuff. So, like I said, it's not the worst. But try again. And Transformers, y'all can suck it too. <laughs> Slight kill yourself. Uh, Transformers, mm-mm. go back to the drawing board. Bring Shia LaBeouf back. What else movie was stupid? Hmm. <laughs> Damn, you've seen so much shit. Shut off. My brain has been overloaded with movies. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking two movies a week. This shit I got for years. This shit I got out of hand. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So I don't know. If y'all think Tupac uh movie was the best, leave a comment. Follow us on Talking Fresh Podcast on Instagram and what else we got talking oh talking fresh on Freshworks TV on YouTube and I also just started a talking fresh uh podcast YouTube I was about to say Instagram I'm tripping brain <laughs> fart but I haven't started uh uploading yet it's going to be live shows that we do or episodes, not shows. So follow us on that. Subscribe to Freshworks TV on YouTube and Talking Fresh Podcast on YouTube. And you want to say something before we get up out of here? Nope. All right.